Hey guys, RC here. Welcome back to Raging Racing, our stables in starters order seven. Uh, we are currently still ranked number 101 in the world, even with all of our cash, or pro that's probably in the country, but that's fair enough. Wanted you guys to see the end of season awards there, and secretary, top flat horse, top flat three-year-old, one seven out of seven, almost six million in earnings, and I think we won about that much on on uh, his back so appreciate that uh didamus we saw him make a run there uh on this on this uh, track the last race and i think we saw auction house run in a race too uh you know who we don't see in there is frankel don't know why he didn't run as much it's a thing i suppose uh we did not have any new horses because we did not breed remember that's weird not seeing that but that is how it is. Let's check. So Frankel's still in the game. Secretary has left the game. Vaya con Dios, Secretary. Oh, and I wonder, you can't breed with Secretary either. I wonder what the breeding fee on him would be. Probably pretty immense. Pretty immense. All right, so let's go. We have, uh, we have a bunch of horses. And we don't have any... We don't have any yearlings because they're all two-year-olds now. So if you breed when they're born in January, they become a yearling, and then you have to wait another year. So it's a two-year cycle. When you buy a yearling, they're already a year ahead, so that following January, uh, they go up for sale. Um, this is race entering. So let's take a look at these guys. Uh, we've got uh, no no speed and no potential, so we'll auction out. And again, all we're you know we're not expecting anything huge, but maybe we find you know one or two, if we're lucky, that we might be able to run. And I'm not seeing anything there, so I'm guessing when you evaluate your own horses, it's the same as if you're assessing horses at sale. But um, let's see, what was the tip here? I'm looking at my little sheet from the Discord channel. Horse stats. Yeah, here we go. All right, the more potential, confident, extra speed rating. Okay, here we go. This is what I was looking for. All right, so speed and stamina work together. Stamina tells you the distance it can run. Speed tells you how fast a horse may be compared to their stamina. So a horse with 100%, 100 speed is not necessarily a sprinter. If they have over 55 stamina, they might like to run one mile races. So a higher stamina, longer races, but you need speed either way, basically. Uh, potential and extra speed rating affects what races you enter. Um, an 85 speed horse may not succeed at higher classes if they have a low potential. So 85% I've heard is kind of a magic number to be a class one grade one, but you need that in several, several categories. So not seeing that anywhere else. And again, this is the 50 line right around here. So not much in the way. So yeah, we're gonna go ahead and sell hopeful sign as well. And no sense, well, unless you guys want to watch this, let me know uh, in the comments, do you want me to skip over this in the future when I'm putting horses up for auction? Because this could take a while, right? I mean, it could. All right, we have extra speed here. Potential's not great. This would be a lower end horse, probably, you know, class fours, class four handicaps might make it into a class three uh, maybe maybe but it does have extra speed the cruising burst is not good it still doesn't look great right still doesn't look great and if you guys see me make a mistake i mean i won't be able to fix it but point it out you know be nice about it you know but point it out and say hey you know this is uh you should have kept that horse and here's why See, like this one has, you know, 70 potential in constitution, 
but the cruising burst and extra speed are below 50 and the enthusiasm is bad so I don't think that's going to be a good horse to run and you know all these buying yearlings is is speculation it's just you know do we you know do we have something here that might be pan out and you know you buy 20 horses maybe one of them is worth looking at maybe hard to tell now that one really good constitution it's already at a 50 potential so this might be and i think your upward potential could go up so that might if they can win a few races might get to 75 might it's got 75 extra speed no finish application i'm not going to list that one maybe we keep that one you know we'll revisit La Roca. See, that's not bad. I mean, this has over 50%, but I don't think that's going to be a good racer. Might, might, but I think we're going to get rid of her. And you guys are probably going, no, that was the one to keep. I told you, I have no idea. All this is just me guessing. Just guessing. My money never sleeps. This is true, but my money's not on this horse. We'll sell him to the glue factory. Odds maker. Yeah, I don't see the potential there. There's some consistency, but I still think below average. Well, the birds are coming back out. Panoramic view, nope. We'll see you in the rear view mirror. Crystal gal. There is some potential. I think that horse might be just on, a touch on the lazy side and really nothing to offset that. Polydamos. Now that's got really good extra speed, positive enthusiasm, at least 50 ap application. It's going to need a lot of work and, you know, best it might end up with is around 60 potential. This might be a fun one just to run though. Do we take, do we take a gamble? I mean, we want to keep at least one horse to run this year, right? That one has no potential. Unless I find another one that like really stands out. No. I hope you guys are mostly agreeing with me. Now this one. So he could get up over 75. He's already at 50. Extra speeds at 80. I like that one, O'Callaghan Strand. Again, probably not a grade one. Probably not a grade one, but you know. It's one of our better ones that maybe we run and make a little money with. Uh, Sin Seance. Sensation sensibility. I, I sin sin sensibility. Sin sin sensibility. I have no idea. I'm gonna sell it just because I don't want to call that name during a race. <laughs> Alliard, no. Trundywood. It has no speed whatsoever. So we're going to say Ixnay to the oop and stay on that. All right. Kiyama Bay. Doesn't look like, eh, no. I think some of the other ones that we've looked at are better. 
I'd like to find one that looks just really promising, you know. This one has some, you know, cruising burst is a little higher than anybody else. Confidence is there. Might be able to get up to about a 75. What I don't know is if they win, how much more can that expand, right? So I know it can go up a little bit, so it might get to 75. And at least everything else is at 50. I think we're going to keep Al Alhaban. Uh, home. No, we'll send you packing. You can go to someone else's home. And Dunya. Dunya again. I don't see the potential there. So we will sell that one. All right, let's sell these. See how much money we're going to make. Bam! $29 million. So let's see, 651, 2.3. So it looks like the ones in the 100 to 200 range are going to garner that 600,000. The ones in the 5 to 600,000 range are going to get you the 2.2, 2.3. So I think that's the direction that we want to start going now that we've got some money. So 29 million. We've already bought everything we need for our stable, I believe. I don't have five horses. I've got four. And I and we can have 28. So we're not in a rush for that. And I don't want don't want to drop two million. I mean I could afford it, but I don't need to buy that now. Do I go ahead and spend the million on the stud facilities? I don't need to, but you know, it's less than a million, so we'll buy that. And I think that's all we need there. <clears throat> all right, let's take one more look at these. Oh, the other thing I need to do, if we're going to start racing, I need to go to high staff, hire the paddock help, and let's go to high grade and keep morale up. So we're going to do that. And then I want to go to jockeys. And... Do we have to buy a new jockey every year? I guess we do. I did not know that. All right, so that's cool. So we're looking for just mainly skill on this guy. I like him. Let's hire him. And let's take a look because I'm going to have to make, I'm going to make a note because we're going to have multiple horses. So now... Now here's what I don't know, okay? And and you know, a lot of this talking now is is busy talk, but it's also letting you know my kind of thought process. Uh types of races, choosing a race. Jockeys. Here we go. All right. Group wins are an indicator if they can handle big race pressure. So that's the first thing. All right, so these are your apprentices. These are regular jockeys. There's 80 in the game. Looks like you have to rehire every year. All right, um, and here's your group wins down here. You have to actually click on them to see. So skill is the most important stat, 90% skill. Then you want Honesty to get better feedback and then obedience. I would put them in that order. You cannot check a jockey's profile, so take note. Use the black boxes labeled hire or retain. Oh, if you retain an apprentice, you you don't it costs you a weekly fee and then you don't pay them per race. Retaining a normal jockey cost a weekly fee plus their per race fee. <clears throat> but you get preferential uh, hiring. So even if they're already hired by someone else, you can, hi uh, you can hire them away. Uh, once you have enough money, it's a good idea to retain a jockey with high stats. A jockey can make or break your race. You can hire or retain one apprentice and one normal jockey at the same time. It's a good idea to have both. Okay. All right. So 
let's take a look. So say is, and where is 90 here? That's 75. 50, 50, 60. Yeah, okay, so each one of these solid lines is 10. So 75, 80, 90. So we want somebody up to this solid green bar if we can find them. If we can find them. Moreno's the closest we've seen so far. All right, now if we look at Moreno, he's got good honesty. He has low honesty. Honesty is important to me because that gives you good feedback. So right now it's Moreno. Having all three would be stellar. Okay. I don't see anything wrong with that. That's who I want to retain. <laughs> I'm not going to look anymore and I'm not going to bicker. Thank you. And oh. Auto book, please. Out we go. That way we don't have to put it in at you know each race. All right, so well, that took 17 minutes of our lives. Um, let's double check these because I don't need four. So we're at 75 right here. I am really tempted to try to figure out how to make a mod to, to colorize that. Um, oh well, anyway. 75 so that's acceleration that's your speed and it has good extra speed kind of like her let's check the lineage here uh the dad or the sire Forturutoli is a expired colt he ran at about a 90 ran the brooklyn stakes that's the uh, belmont in uh, the vanilla version and finished 15th but he won a grade three in virginia at a mile three so he's got stamina for distance he can run a mile plus and he can win but not not the not the better quality she has got four group two wins and a group three win the dam La Sylphide and ran really well in, in just about every race. What was the race? Class one, grade two, seven furlongs. So she's a little bit more of a sprinter and she ends up over a hundred. I think that's going to be a pretty solid horse. I think that one is going to be solid. All right, Polydamas, two year old Colt. Uh, let's check the parents, Mayo Lad. So he got up to about 102 and then tailed off a little bit. Uh, did not have any group wins. That's too bad. Finished second in a grade two class one. And, and you know, yeah, the allowance races, those aren't great. She didn't win anything. You know what? I am going to I'm going to sell this one. I'm going to sell that one. All right, O'Callahan Strand. All right, tailed off, no wins, third one it's maiden. Finished fourth in some grade threes. Did really poorly in a class two handicap. Ran with a 95 rating and a zero to 120. So probably a lot better horses in that field. And then had a third place finish in an allowance race. Class one, grade two. So I'm thinking this is going to be a class two, class three horse. 
she never got a rating I like the potential and the speed though everything else is a little low but there may be something there at a lower level racer all right this one it's kind of the same thing very middling here again I, I'm just telling you guys what I'm seeing what I'm in thinking what I'm interpreting and you can tell me if I'm wrong or not secretariat stakes he's got no group wins did win an allowance race at class class one finished 11th in the derby class two handicap so he's able to run a little bit. I mean, he finished fourth out of seven in a class one grade three. Or, um, I don't know. I don't know. She didn't win anything, but she did win two handicaps class six, though. Ugh. I'm going to keep her. I'm going to keep her and give her a well. Oh, well, that's not my horse. I didn't like the mom. Yeah, didn't like the mom. Let's come, <laughs> let's come back up into here. Um, I don't know. I think we're okay here. I mean, this could get up to 75, so it won't be a great horse. Solid confidence. It has the highest cruising burst, I think, out of all four. Does lose some on speed, but everything else is at least average. So it could be an average horse, right? All right, let's skip a day. And we pick up, what's that, 600,000, 681? All right. I guess the question I have to ask myself, are any of these horses going to make me $600,000? And I'm thinking the answer is no, because it's me running them, and I don't know what the hell I'm doing. It's just me, though. All right. But let's keep them. We're going to keep all three a little short of work. All right. So they're going to need a little time, but we still can book them ahead of time. More work to increase its fitness level. Well, you know what? Let's let's go ahead and move ahead. The first yearling sale is in March. So let's get into February give them some training time right because this whole time every day they're out on our course training oop a leap year so they got extra time there all right raring to go fit and ready to race and fit and ready to race oh you know one thing i want to check laid back like it Normal, like it. Normal, okay. I, uh, one of the things I heard is check your disposition of your horses. If they're excitable, kick them to the curb. Uh, they don't run consistently. The laid back, I'm worried could be a little bad. Um, let's see what it says for horses in here for the laid back part. That's jockeys, that's distance. That's training, and this should be stats now. Maturity rate. Uh, let's see, potential battling. Now, it, it does say this battling qualities, they've only seen three horses ever that had more than just a little bit so they said don't don't worry about that but what i'm looking for is the disposition I'm trying to see if they have anything about disposition in here and it really doesn't address it Did not settle, sell your horses, buy your breeding barn, bet on races. 
See, I don't think I would use the import function because they consider it cheating in league. So if it's cheating, it's cheating. So don't, you know, I don't want to, I don't like to cheat. I don't mind using mods and stuff as long as it's not a, it's more quality of life, like the little bar graph here. Anyway, let's get out of here. I am going to go book some races. All right. So Stam on all three of these is pretty crap, which is normal. So anything in this 10%, we're looking at a five to six furlong race. And I believe that'll be the same for all of them. This will go up over time. Now you can see this one's actually a little higher. So can we maybe look at seven furlongs? Because that's at about 10%. Oh, let's see. Let me check my let me check my notes. Now I gotta find it. There we go. Nope, that's that's not it. Could have swore that was it. Now I can't find it. <laughs> it was too far ago. Here we go. There it is. Yeah. All right. <clears throat> so 10%, five to six furlongs. 20%, you go up to seven to seven furlongs to a mile. So anything until 20%, which is this green line here, we're going to be going five to six. Just want to give you guys the information I'm operating off of. All right, so we've got a female. We want to go five furlongs with her. All right, one of the things I did figure out is this declaration penalty cutoff. If you click on a race before that, you'll see there's a penalty to enter this race. You're basically paying extra money. So you better make sure you can win. Since I'm not sure I can win anything, we're going to go after that date. And the farther you go, and look at that, there's three maiden races all on the same day. That would be helpful. So let's go ahead and put her in this race. And then we will put him. Where's our cutoff here? Nope, I went down too far. There we are. All right, we're going to click on that race. Sure, and then we'll go here, and we will do the same race. They're all five furlongs, all entered, and I tell you what, let's go, if we're entered on the, uh, you're killing me. Now I can't find it. What date? February 13th. All right, March 7th. Do it, man, you know what? Let's wait and see how we, how we do here. So let's get out of here. Um, why did it not enter my horse? Oh, it did. Okay, so you're there. You're there. Okay, so he is entered. Good. All right, next race is February 13th. The next auction is not until March 1st. So let's skip ahead. Any legends running this year? No. I mean, some of them are still in the game, but we'll, we'll be looking for Frankel for sure. So let's go ahead and skip. That jumps us all the way ahead to the day before uh, any, you know, any race that you're scheduled. So we're going to go in on all three of these. All right, we're on the day. Now we go to the track. Let's see, we have Alhaban, not the favorite. O'Callaghan Strand, not the favorite. Clockman Clonrock. Clockman Clonrock. Wow. CC. There you go. All right, go to the track. All right. We can look for races to bet. We have some money. We could do that now, but uh, two to one. That's, you know, I like small groups, especially if you have, oh, that's not what I want, especially if you're, you know, you're looking 
uh, you know, pretty dominant. And then we hired, remember we hired that paddock guy. So now we can go into the paddock. The, uh, they're saying lucky windmill. Moving well, lean, and ready to go. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna do a um, we're gonna do a max win twenty five thousand, and we'll just look for the result. Oh, we lost new course record, of course. All right, so you know I do bet every once in a while, but mostly it's about coming to see our race. All right, we're going off at thirty three to one. So if I'm reading this right, and I don't know everything, this is their current form. So they have finished 4th, 6th, 7th, and 10th in their races. This is a true maiden for us. We've not run. They don't know what we can do, so that's going to be one reason we'd be a long shot. Um, we're carrying, This is your weight. So the male horses are at 123 pounds. Phillies are at 120. So what that means, I believe, is you know if the jockey weighs, let's say, let's say Fry weighs 117, and his weight's 113. So we can actually figure this out. So he's 113. They're gonna put an extra seven pounds on the horse to get to the 120, right? So if you know if you're 125, then you're over. They're not going to add more weight, but you're carrying five pounds that you don't have to, you know, carry. I'm not going to put any money on it, but let's go race and see how she does. And I know, you know, we probably won't watch as we move forward through the years. We won't watch all the maiden races, you know, because we want to kind of get through them and get into seeing how they actually look. But being that these are the first races for our horses... Uh, so I am in the blue silks with the yellow hat, currently sitting middle of the pack, four furlongs to go. Holding in the center. Getting pinched on the rail a little bit at the two furlong. Is she going to be able to do anything? Looks like the jockey's looking for a way through. Found a gap. He's going to push on through, neck and neck with Scarab. Loses a little bit of pace there. Back up. He's into second. Making a charge. Making a charge, but he's not going to have enough, I don't think. And he finishes second, or she finishes second. Not a bad race. Not a bad race. Went off at 28 to 1. Made progress mid division halfway, short of room to just inside the final two. Stayed on well, only a half length back. So that's our jockey feedback. The better their honesty is, the better your feedback will be there. All right, well, let's get out of that race. Got the distance well, ridden as a closer, which suited. A closer is going to run farther to the back of the pack and then try to make a late charge, which is fine. Four to one, four to two, Sphinx. Nope, not going to bet that one. All right, O'Callaghan Strand. So again, the only horse without a race. What is an R? Didn't, I guess that's a did not finish. Refused to start. Wow, don't see that very often. All right, so basically you've got a couple of third place finishes in here. We are a, a colt this time, so we're running at 123. Remember, he's 113, so they put an extra 10 pounds of weight to get there. Um, you know what? Let's let's put a bet to to win. What's the, you know, it's 1500 bucks. If it wins, we make some decent money. We're going to be starting towards the rail, second gate, the yellow hat with the blue silks. That's our, that's our race kit. And looks like he's going to ride as a closer too. He drifts out to the center of the pack. Trying just to find some running room in there where he's not jostled. All right, let's speed him up a little bit. All right, he moves to the outside there 
two and a half furlongs to go. He is well off the pace. Is he going to have anything to charge with? Doesn't look like it. Let's scroll out here. He's running with the trailers, and I'm not seeing a single move from him. I don't see any fight. I don't see anything in there. No speed. He's, ma well, he's making a little run there, but too little, too late. He's going to get up into the top six, possibly. Nah, I don't know. That, that wasn't a good run. I don't think he, uh, he, look, he didn't look good. Settled towards the rear, never a factor. Eased. So what does eased mean? I don't know. Uh, let's see if I can find anything about eased. All right, did not settle is some feedback. That's a bad one. Racing juvenile horses. All right, if you receive feedback such as Run them at least four times. Okay, I, I just saw that. So at least four races, that's how they will develop. It will, your speed, stamina, potential, cruising burst, and extra speed ratings can improve. But you have to race them at least four times uh, just, to, just to see a bump. Let's see. If you're not going to win and you, you want to sell the horse, try to run it with handicap ratings and get up to a 70. The AI evidently values those a lot more. All right, so what we're looking for is something like this, better for the run. So, you know, he was, he, he was outclassed, but he's better for it. He's gonna learn from this race and get better. Uh, ran green, same thing. Just very inexperienced. If you get those, it just showed they're inexperienced. We didn't get anything about that, and I don't know what eased means. So that's troubling. And so we may run him once more, and then we may cut bait on him. Could have settled better. Oh, that's didn't settle. That was a bad one. Where did I see that at? Here we go. All right, so if you get something about settling, it's uh, it's how well the horse uh, stays focused or gets distracted and then follows the jockey's commands. And uh, this is bad because the horse uses too much energy or runs too fast. It could be genetic, which means you can breed it out. It may need a pacifier. Your stable lad will recommend that if possible or it's stressed due to conditions it doesn't like. Distance, running style, too fast, too slow, footing, whatever. So we'll look at him after the race and we'll see if we're recommended for a pacifier. And we'll probably run him once more and then we may just cut our losses. Put him in a, maybe a selling race, I don't know. All right, we're looking for our last horse here. Ooh, that's an interesting one. Not as interesting as I thought. 40 to 1. And again, the only one that hasn't run. Third, fourth, and fifth placed finishes. So let's take a look here. What's his? He doesn't have great speed. But he's got the decent, the decent cruising burst. It doesn't mean jack shit, but I'm gonna go ahead and put 1500 on him to win. We'll run the race and then we'll call this an episode. The racing takes more time, uh, but selling all the horses this time did as well. So I apologize. I do try to keep them to under 30 minutes. All right, we break slow. We're out next to last, starting to move. Nice looking black colt. Looks like he's going to ride as a stalker. Yeah, maybe a closer. All right, he cuts over towards the inside. 
Let's get it up to two furlongs. That's about the point people start making their moves. And we are running next to last. He's starting to make a little bit of a move there. Not a lot. Got this mosquito in the house and it's killing me. A furlong left. Here comes a charge. Does he have enough in him to get there? Two tenths. Can he get up into second? All right, he showed some heart. He ran hard. I'm pretty happy with that. You know, you'd like to see the win, but he did show the, you know, he showed the ability to close there. So I'm pretty happy with that. All right, the form book's going to show us the same thing. Ridden as a closer, suited well enough. Trip was suited perfectly. So basically keep him at that distance. Don't go crazy, right? We got a 79 rated, but all she's run is selling races, so we're going to skip that. All right, where do we come back? March 1st, we'll be back March 1st for the yearlings at the auction. And, oh, let's check him real quick. All right, right now he's just jaded, so... Let me get to March 1st, and then we might try to run late March, early April, and then maybe do a second race in May if anybody's showing some potential. And we should hopefully, as we advance here a little bit, uh, get a little more feedback from our head lad and tell us if uh, O'Callaghan Strand might need a pacifier. And I think Alhaban showed some good promise showed some good promise guys hit the like button subscribe and we will see you out here on the track next episode see ya bye